Hello Capsulea, my name is Gildy and welcome to EVE Online. Save spots on grid with gates, also known as perches, can save your ship when you travel around. If you have no idea what perches are, definitely check out the card that will pop up on the screen right now, as I already described there what they are and why are they important. In that video I showed you how to set up your own perches, especially for areas that you travel through a lot. However, what do you do if you need a whole constellation or two, or even a whole region covered with perches for some operation, you just move to a new home, or whatever the reason might be? Enter shared bookmarks. You might have some bookmarks from the friends you play with, shared bookmarks is a corporation-wide folder, but there is another way. You can also buy some for yourself. I have been approached by Jet Purchase, an industrious capsulier who went all around low and null security systems using a speedy ship and cataloging them in multi-region folders. All that while traveling all over New Eden and collecting some stories from the travels. And the best thing about this trip is that he's willing to share those bookmarks for a price that is really quite low for the amount of work it saves you. Link to both forum thread and reddit post about the stories from his travels will be linked in the description. Selling bookmarks? Yes, that is exactly what I mean. I have used some of them and they are really good far away bookmarks set around system gates, allowing you to warp to them and check gates before you take the plunge and possibly run into a smart bomber or a bubble camp and null or the new weird lawless insurgency systems. I know what you might be thinking right now. If I can buy them, everyone can, so they aren't really safe, why would I do it? First of all, the chance of someone sitting for days and weeks at a purchased perch just to maybe one day catch that one person that bought the bookmarks is so small it might as well be a statistical error. So they are safer than you think. Secondly, if you use proper etiquette when using any, and I mean any, shared bookmarks, not only the ones that I mentioned from Jet Purchase, you'll have a way safer and more pleasant time traveling around the dangerous areas of New Eden. So with this video I had the idea to not only show off the achievement of Jet Purchase and help him get some visibility to the business idea he has, but also share tips on how to deal with all kinds of shared bookmarks, be it safe spots or purchase, how not to burn them, and how to treat ones that you have been given to use when you have no idea if they have been already burned or not. So, first things first. What do I mean that a bookmark has been burned? It means that you know that you have been scanned down on that exact location or someone has warped or flew towards you and they know where the bookmark is exactly and might be trying to use that knowledge to catch you next time they see you over there. Do you then need to get rid of such a bookmark and delete it to get a new one? Not really. Ideally, yes, it would be good to grab a new safe or whatever bookmark that is, but to be completely honest, there are some ways in which you can prevent being caught on it in the future, or at least until you get a new one, so you might end up not having to rush it, or not even really getting a new one at all. First and foremost, never warp to shared bookmarks at zero. If it has been burned, and there might be someone waiting for you at the spot, you have several range options and even a way to set up your own default warp range up to a single meter. In order to set up one you want to get a custom warping range, click anything on your overview that you can warp to, then right click the warp to button in the selected item window and click set default warp to within distance. Then you can type in your desired number and that works for keep at range or other options as well, which I use to keep Kanzai hack at 2300 meters, making it possible to grab loot and immediately cloak if anything happens. If you warp to all your bookmarks at range, it also helps you to prevent burning them. Do keep in mind that this will then replace your default warping at zero in the right click menus, making you sometimes forget and warp into gates or some other objects at the range you have set, so you do need to figure out if you really do want to do that for yourself. So, if you warp to your bookmarks at range, 
even if someone scans you down and warps to you, they have no idea if that's the spot for the future, your 50km warp in, 100km, or which range you used giving you some space to breathe. Another step, if you want to put layers of paranoia over your current layers of paranoia, is to use a spot to bounce first, before you warp into your bookmarks. That way, if you warp to a bookmark, you will warp from a different angle than usual, making catching you even harder as the potential gankers won't know if you will come from a gate or one of the eight or however many there are planets in the system. For gates and their perches, if you don't want to throw yourself even at a safe spot to check what is on the gate, go warp there within the scan range. If you land on a celestial right next to the gate, you can then change your descan range to 1 AU and check what's there before you warp to the perch itself and get a visual confirmation. And if you are quite far, because there are no spots that are actually close to the gate itself, get your descan cone down to 5 degrees then, while holding down the V button, or whichever button you use for descan, Click on the gate you want to warp to. This will point the directional scanner and spin your camera in the direction you are scanning. Once done, if you know that there is nothing there, or you are maybe suspecting some cloaky gankers, make sure to warp to the perch, double check everything and then decide if you want to go through. The thing about checking every single gate on this scan before you even warp to a perch though, is that especially with a longer travel plan it will take a very long time to be honest so it is easiest and safe enough to warp to your purchase especially if they are well made just like the one jet purchase has created 500 kilometers from a gate is enough for you to basically warp there look at the gate check what's there and decide if you want to go through or if you want to back off because the only way anyone would be able to get you is if they know exactly when you are landing and would land a combat scan perfectly. As you can see, there are many layers of security that you can put on top of basic concept of having bookmarks and purchase. Once again, make sure to check out Jet Purchase forum thread for the bookmarks he has, as they do help in travel quite a lot as well as the stories he has posted on Reddit. All links are in the description of the video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to see my future uploads. If you are interested in what I will talk about next, my videos go up every Sunday. And if we never see each other again in Space Capsulia, fly safe!